how can I give zakat on my business? I, so I have a business. How can I give zakat on my business? We'll, we'll see. Uh, first of all, you have to choose a day in the year, and that will be your zakat day. And in that day, we will go to your business. We we'll say, what kind of business that you have? If your business is a made of uh, merchants that you sell, okay, uh, you will uh, see how much cash you have in your account. Or even if it's a service, let's say you rent place, you will go to that uh, services that you give, you provide, uh, and whatever cash that you have uh, in your uh, possession, that will be considered in the something called wa'auz zakah. That's the amount of money that you possess, and you see if it reaches the nisab, you're gonna give zakat on it. But if you have merchants that you actually sell, like cars, gas, uh, restaurants, you have food in it. Um, uh, books that you, you sell, okay, and you have this in your storage, you will go and look how much you have of this. And that's something that you own. Uh, some people, for example, they have a car lot, but most of the cars that they have in the lot, they don't own it. I'm talking about something you possess, you, you own it. Uh, so you will calculate all these cars and see how much worth uh, or the food that you have in your restaurants or the amount of books that you have in your storage uh, and you planning to sell it and you see how much cash that you have from that business uh, after you detect the expenses, the taxes, and all the stuff, and you basically you look at that amount. If this amount exceeds the nisab, which is what is equal to 85 grams of gold, you will give zakat on it. If it's less, there is no zakat on it. And you do this in, in every year. Uh, when it comes to uh, things in your business that is not for sale, Let's say uh, the, the gas pumps in your gas station, uh, the, the lots that you have, it, it's worth money. The land and the furniture, the office, you know, the storage facility, the shelves and stuff like that. You, you store uh, your books in it. There is no zakat. You don't uh, calculate that in the amount that you're going to give zakat on it. Um, uh, let's say you have apartments that you rent. There is no zakat on the value of the apartment, but on the rent that you collect from the apartment. Same thing if you have, as, uh, as we call it zakat al mustaghlat they have a, a factory. There is no zakat on the machine that produce, let's say you have a factory that makes uh, candles, for example, or uh, it makes uh, watches. The machine itself that makes the watch, there is no zakat on it, but the zakat on the outcome. And the strongest opinion among the scholars that the zakat will be 2.5% as well on that. Uh, that's how basically you will calculate the zakat of your business. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you tawfiq in your business and uh, help you to give the zakat of it as well.